Uh, all right, here's my little portable toy bot. It's just mocked up right now. It's not bolted together, but we're using nice uh, slide rails, THK slide rails, so you can see the y-axis is actually probably eight inches long, and the x-axis is more like four inches, right? And then the extruder will be this isn't really necessarily attached yet, but this extruder will be mounted in the center of this carbon fiber tube and it won't move. It's, it's dead center and just stays there, immobile. This moves in X and Y, and these are actually linear stepper motors where these lead screws go all the way through the bottom as well. And so the motors are attached to this slide, and so both of these motors will turn their lead screws and will actually lift the entire XY table up towards the extruder and then the first layer will start and it will come down uh, as, it, as it does its layers but I mean look at how tiny this thing is it's uh, you know compared to the size of my hand but it's gonna have a, an 8 inch by 4 inch by say 4 or 5 inch Z height which is pretty respectable for something that could potentially fit in a small laptop bag or briefcase. I'll probably add a little bit of T-slot underneath for support um, and you know I might end up needing uh, needing some more support on the sides to support these linear steppers dragging that thing up but <laughs> this is gonna be pretty cool I think just uh, whip this together in the last hour off of some spare parts I had lying around. It's super smooth sliding um, and I'm going to use these uh, tin can linear steppers for the actuators, right? They've got a lead screw going through the middle. And I have a couple of 18-inch lengths of the right size Acme screw. So I can go ahead and cut a, cut a screw this long. And underneath the car, or maybe somewhere in here, I'll, uh, I'll mount the ends on these ends. And I'll mount the little stepper motor you know probably underneath uh, and attach it up here so it will while it, when the motor will be stationary with the carriage and the motor will move back and forth on this long lead screw to move that back and forth same thing for uh, this axis so this will be driven all off of two of these little tin can steppers and uh, linear steppers of course and then two of these NEMA 17 linear steppers and a ramp board I have laying around and I'm gonna have to figure out a nice small extruder for sitting up there but since it doesn't have to move that should be pretty simple but I'm kinda liking this thing this could fit in a tiny little uh, almost like an iPad case I think uh, and maybe I'll make a T-slot base. It's a little bit wobbly like this, so it's going to need some bracing going out this way. So I might make some T-slot pieces that go out to give it stability, but could twist when you travel underneath. So they fold under, this, uh, under the, the Y gantry here, so that you can still fit the whole thing in your laptop bag or whatever to take it with you. You know, this isn't meant to be like an everyday printer, but this is a... This is going to be my pocket printer, you know, uh, tie, you know, decent build area, 8 inches long by 4 inches wide by maybe 4 or 5 inches tall. That's pretty good size. You can make some parts on there, but it's still going to be so skinny, which is what's awesome. It'll fit totally in a laptop bag. This is literally, you know, this is literally the length of my hand. Oops, so that's, yeah, that's not attached yet, but you get the picture. Anyway, having some fun here. Out.